Kicking off our series called My San Diego, uncovering, you know, the hidden places, the lesser known hidden gems in our area, also the people behind them. And today we're going to Mission Hills. Yeah, this is a lesser known hidden gem right here. Right? You can see the map right here, specifically Union Street. This is just off the five. And as you see on that map behind us, but the picture of this topiary gardens was sent to us from 10 News viewer and weather watcher Jim Grant. So we decided to check it all out for ourselves and we found the people who dreamed up this creation. Welcome to Harper's Topiary Hill. To understand what's behind the elephants, orcas, giraffes, and Buddhas, you have to first get to know the people behind them. Edna Scissorhands, is that your nickname now? <laughs> yeah. 53 years of marriage and no kids no for children. Edna and Alex Harper. I am the jackass. I wasn't <laughs> able to reproduce. <laughs> but as the Harpers put it, these patriotic characters in their topiary garden might as well be their kids. So Edna, 1969, you guys move into this house. Yes. When did this happen? About 20 years ago. I got tired of looking at the plants growing in little lumps and it didn't look like much. I sat across the street and I looked at them and they were born. This just started off as a big clump. I didn't just... think it could be done and I told Edna I didn't think it could be done. Oh, it was done all right. Edna, the master artist, turned her garden into her canvas. And for two decades, Pedro has been by Edna's side, clipping, trimming, and bringing to life Edna's artistic visions. Todos los días estás aquí? Five days a week, Pedro works. It's fun uh, watching them work. I just pay the bills. <laughs> what, do, what do people say when they drive by and walking by? I meet neighbors and they say, oh, where do you live? And I say, well, I own the topiary garden. They go, oh, I love it, I love it. My favorites are the elephants, actually, and there's six elephants. How would you like this garden to be remembered one day? Oh, as a great um, thing that I gave to the city for people to come for free to see something different. I'm Edna Harper and this is my San Diego. So there you have it, a hundred drought tolerant plants in this particular garden. I could spend all day yeah. going through and trying to figure out what each shape represents. They're so Cool. Yeah, and as we turn to uh, Megan and Natasha, you know, a lot of people have said, you know, can we come visit? And Edna, Alex, and, and Pedro, they all said, sure, come on out. Just We're going to do it. Don't walk into yeah. the garden. Yeah, it's, 